I must thank CNAC and the Ministry of Natural Resources for providing this once in a lifetime opportunity that will not only allow me to further my studies overseas, but will also permit me to make an impactful contribution to my country. Having an influence in the world, starting with Guyana, has always been the dream. CNOC Petroleum Guyana Limited, CPGL, recently awarded undergraduate scholarships to four Guyanese students to study petroleum sciences in China. President of CPGL, Liu Xiaoshang, shared in his welcome remarks that the initiative underlines the company's strong commitment to the people of Guyana by developing local content and by building local capacity. Natural Resources Minister Vikram Bharat welcomed the initiative as a significant contribution to developing the capacity of Guyana's petroleum sector. This program started in collaboration with the Ministry of Natural Resources and Sina Petroleum Guyana. We had a discussion and we said that in order to move Guyana's petroleum sector forward, we need to build capacity locally. Because I cannot say to Exxon, I cannot say to CNOC, I cannot say to HES that we need more local people or we need more Guyanese to be employed in the oil and gas sector if we are doing nothing to train Guyanese to work in the sector. Funded by CPGL, the scholarship program will see a total of 10 scholarships awarded over the next three years. Nekamaya Levens, Arya Matthews, Ishika Singh and Nazila Williams will commence studies in China for the 2023-2024 academic year. China has been providing uh, government scholarships uh, to uh, Guyanese students for many years and uh, China is carrying out a training program and is encouraging Chinese companies operating here to uh, uh, actively take part in uh, personnel training uh, now the Guyanese students who are studying in China, they are studying um, medicine, uh, engineering, financing, etc. So the scholarships got awarded today is a very important complement. Upon completion of studies, the graduates are required to work with either the ministry or CPGL for five years. The scholars were selected from public advertisements by a joint CPGL Ministry of Natural Resources panel. Applications will be open again next year. Daniel Swain for the Newsroom.